Hey, it's Barry Shoulder, GourdBanjosByBarry.com. I wanted to show you a uh, little bit of gourd um, stuff, I guess you want to call it. This is a uh, gourd I picked up over in uh, East Georgia. And this is the natural way they come out of the ground. This is pretty nasty, pretty crusty. This one has a... Uh, this one has a goiter on it, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Got a bump there, got a bump there. Uh, I love these kind of gourds. Anyway, uh, this, is, uh, this is a pretty big gourd. This is probably seven to eight inches deep. It's probably around 10 inches in diameter. One thing I wanted to show you, this is, it's very narrow. This is only about a Oh, maybe three sixteenths to a quarter inch rim, and uh, the way that comes is is usually not too good for a gourd banjo because there's a lot of stress once you put the skin on. However, this is something I do on these particular gourds. If you can see this, I use fiberglass cloth on the upper edge, and this is where the tacks go in to hold the head down. I use fiberglass cloth and I use epoxy to uh, to adhere the fiberglass cloth to, to the edge. Uh, regular fiberglass resin is very flexible, so that wouldn't do anybody a lot of good. So the epoxy that I use is real, real hard, extra, uh, it's called extra strength, extra hard. Uh, epoxy so combining that with the fiberglass cloth you come up with a pretty hard solid gourd and the nice thing about that is the epoxy fills the uh, the inside of the gourd which is very porous which would absorb sound also um, it enables you to use a thinner gourd, which is going to produce a better sound. So uh, there's some advantages to a thin gourd and sprucing it up a little bit on the inside with epoxy and glass cloth. Um, this particular banjo, I'm going to leave the, the sides the way they are. Put a, put a clear coat of urethane on there, a matte urethane. And uh, this is going to be one of my... Uh, fence post banjos and uh, the fence post banjo is just all natural it's uh, a real popular model it, it uh, the only thing that's smooth is the neck where you're playing the instrument the rest of it's pretty natural pretty scuffed up I usually put a rusty nail in the head some kind of barn wood uh, slab or something on the peg head itself so it makes for a really cool uh, banjo. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, share this little bit of uh, information to you.